Welcome to crew. <laughs> as the, I don't know what's wrong with him. As the MC, Caitlin's my other MC today. Um, today's a special day. Um, we are gonna, today's the last uh, meeting here uh, this year. And um, we have something special lined up for you guys. Oh yeah, sorry. So we're crew. Um, if you guys don't know who we are, we are a group of students who love people, love Jesus, want to give everyone the chance to know him. Great. So like Tristan said, today is our senior send-off and leadership recognition. So this meeting is going to look a little different, um, but it's going to be really fun and really exciting. Um, a couple quick announcements. The first one is that if you attended spring break with us, there's going to be a piece of paper at the back table that we need you guys to fill out. Um, it's so that we can get sponsored for ASI and um, get some free money for that free money we need it. Um, so if you could do that on your way out at the end of the meeting that would be great please don't forget um, and now I'm gonna invite Shelby up she's gonna um, give us an, an our only announcement so it's the most important um, and just hear about this really cool opportunity that all of you guys have over the summer hey guys <clears throat> okay so I want to talk to you about project Pomona again because it's really important and <laughs> I want you guys to come and do it. So if you're going to be here during the summer and you want a way to get involved and meet the new freshmen coming in next year, this is a really good opportunity. We're going to be running a table for crew uh, either once a week or twice a week for all of the orientation groups. And we're also going to be having a Bible study. So if you don't think you'll be able to make it to all the orientations, but you still want to do something this summer with crew and still be getting fed and just hanging out. Um, me and Aaron Kretzman are going to be running that Bible study, so you can come talk to me <laughs> or him uh, after the meeting. Also, please get involved. Um, like I said, if you want to get involved this summer, you want to do something, meet freshmen. It's a really good opportunity. I'm really excited for the team. Um, we're going to be finalizing everything, so come talk to me after the meeting, and we'll get that set up. Okay. Thanks, Shelby. Um, okay, so now we're going to begin to recognize just some of our leaders. And I know that not quite everybody is here, but we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. So I would like to invite all of our current servant team leaders up front. People from publicity team, prayer and worship team, weekly meeting, community team, and men and women's team. Um, man, there aren't very many of you. That's unfortunate because we wrapped a lot of gifts. Maybe you get two. Just kidding. Um, guys, they did a tremendous job this year. We got to see more events on our calendar. We got to see more prayer and worship times happen um, consistently throughout the week. We got to see, I think, some of the best graphics crew has seen yet. Um, they've just been doing a tremendous job and a tremendous amount of work over the year and oftentimes um, completely unrecognized. So if you could just join me in just thanking our servant team leaders. You're a leader. Great job, Jeff. <laughs> All right, you guys can have a seat. So next, we're going to um, just recognize our missional leaders. So if you guys could stand up um, and come up here. Um, They've served in the dorms in um, their majors um, in specific ministries like Oasis, Bridges, um, Destino, and stuff. And yeah, they've really poured into um, the lives of many of you guys, and we just want to recognize and thank them uh, for all the hard work that they've done. Yeah, give it up for the missional leaders. Elise, you want your gift bag? The blue cups are in the blue bags. The black cups are in the black and the green. Elise chose everybody. 
Um, now we would um, like to recognize um, the leaders on our core team. So if core could come up. Um, <laughs> Katie Hyatt, um, Stephanie, Josh, Jenna Skolski, who got texts three times to be here. I have no idea where Jenna is. Um, Tristan and myself. If you guys could find the white and black bags with your name on them. Um, Cora has done a tremendous amount of work. I've loved getting to serve with them throughout this year and kind of just shepherding and guiding this movement um, and coaching our different servant team leaders. Thank you. Um, so if you guys could just thank the core team. Thank you. Great. Thanks. Do we know where Jenna Skolski is? I don't know. I want to kill that girl. Um, so we're going to kind of transition out of thanking our leaders and kind of recognizing our graduating seniors this year. Um, kind of something that um, core or crew kind of works by is the, the model of win, build, send. And the idea of winning new students, um, lost students towards Christ. It's part of our motto, wanting to give everyone the opportunity to know Christ. And a lot of what we do through our movement is reaching out to those new students to win them to Christ, putting them in the path of the gospel. The second part of that is building them, equipping our students um, both spiritually in their personal relationship with the Lord and growing in their knowledge and their love for the Lord and their reliance on the Holy Spirit, and then also equipping them to be able to share their faith on this campus and even abroad um, on summer projects or um, even internationally. Um, so that's part of like our build model. And the last part of that is our scent. And it's the idea of we want to equip our students so that when they graduate, when they leave this campus, that they are fully prepared and able to be able to share the gospel beyond this campus. Whether they find themselves in the marketplace, whether they find themselves raising a family, or even doing ministry, either in crew or in another church setting, um, we want to equip them to be able to send them out. Um, fully prepared to live for the gospel and live missionally wherever they are with whomever they encounter. And that's our idea of 100% sent. Um, so we're going to be giving some gifts to our seniors, and I hope that you guys feel 100% sent to live for Christ, to live missionally wherever you guys find yourself. So I'm going to invite our seniors up individually. I'm going to ask Jenna Skolski, who's not here, Surprise, I got baby pictures of everybody without your knowledge. <laughs> Jamie Bell, you want to come up here? <laughs> stay, stay up here. Um, Jeff. Harrison, what a good looking stud. So all you hipsters, Harrison was rocking the bow tie and the suspenders well before it was cool. Rico. Katie Hyatt. And Jessica. Um, so what I'm going to ask our seniors now is to kind of just share a little bit about themselves. So I'm going to ask you to introduce yourself. Um, tell us what degree that you are receiving, potentially in one week. Um, and then if you could just share with us what your plan is um, after leaving Cal Poly, how you feel like you're 100% sent where you're going. Um, and then if you have a nugget or a piece of wisdom that you'd like to share with us, we'd um, love to hear it. So we're going to start with Jamie Bell. <laughs> the most unprepared person to do this. Um, OK, so my what I, degree I'm getting, English literature. Uh, I'm not doing a thing with it next year, besides being able to write awesome support letters. <laughs> Because um, I'll be, hopefully, God willing, here interning next year with Campus Crusade. 
Yeah. So it's not really sending quite off, but um, wisdom. I, yes, so much wisdom. Um, I think that the wisest thing that I could say is, um, aside from sounding a little cheesy, is um, making, really making the effort. I know it's crazy, I know it's busy, but really, really making the effort to spend time alone with the Lord as you guys grow. Um, in your college years, I promise, freshmen, it gets worse, better, um, friend-wise. <laughs> But worse, when it comes to actually, like, academics and everything, it gets really hectic, and, and having that relationship is really important. And, yeah, that's it. Who do I pass it off to? Harrison! Harrison! Do I have to bring, do I have to bring? Why? Yeah, you have to. Hi, babe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, my name is Harrison. Um, I am graduating with a business degree in management and human resources. Um, I would have to say, oh, what I'm doing after um, graduating. Um, I'm potentially going to be interning with uh, Marriott International, which is a hotel chain. Um, and so I feel like that's where God is sending me to uh, reach out to my coworkers and people I'll be working with. And a piece of advice or wisdom. Um, one thing that's really that I've noticed and I've learned through my like period here at Cal Poly is just keeping God first and not letting anything in this world, any person, anything, get in between your relationship with with Christ. Um, when your relationship with Christ is, um, I like to say, on point, um, then everything falls into place. You no, know, no matter if you have trials and and good things happen, God is like ordering your steps. So. Um, just, just staying connected with him and trusting him through uh, every step that you go through with your life. So, yeah. I'm Jeff Spolstra. Um, I'm graduating with a plant science degree, um, and I'm planning on uh, get trying to get, find a job in the agriculture industry, um, focusing on like pest control and disease control. Um, and I, so yeah, I'm just gonna be looking for a job that way. Um, as for wisdom, I'd say take advantage of the col your college years as a time when you can uh, really change yourself and develop as a person. Um, and you know, really pray to God that He'll change you into who you want, who He wants you to be, um, because um, this is a time when you kind of have a chance to have a fresh start. And you have a chance to um, make decisions for yourself, and don't be afraid of whatever God's trying to um, push you toward or change you into. But um, you know, just realize that what He's, what He wants for you, is what you're designed for, and just accept that. Don't be afraid of it. You'll grow to love it. Um, don't, uh, yeah, just ex just accept what you feel God's telling you to do, and it's it's what life's all about, so don't make any excuses. Thanks. <laughs> Can I hold that? Hi, um, my name is Katie. Um, I am graduating. It's hard, it's hard graduating, you guys. Um, I'm graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Um, I don't know what I'm doing next year yet. Um, I should decide that. I have one more class to take, um, so I'll be on campus every once in a while. So if you see me, say hi. Don't ignore me. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to be sent yet, because I don't know where I'm going to be. Um, but there was this verse. I was just looking at it. Um, 2 Timothy 4, 14, something. Um, it says, do not let anyone look down on you because you're young, but instead, um, oh, I'm blanking. Set an, Set an example in life, sp faith, speech, purity. Um, I think just because we're young doesn't mean that we can't um, really live the gospel and um, be an example to those around us, no matter where we are. Um, a nugget, I would say, um, 
build relationships. Um, build deep relationships with the people around you. Um, the people in here are awesome, and these are people that are going to point you towards Christ um, over and over again. Um, be vulnerable with these people. Um, the relationships that you build in college are going to last you for the rest of your life. Um, don't be afraid to open yourself up to the people around, the people in college, because they're really great. Hi, I'm Rico. Um, I am graduating with a liberal studies degree, or nothing. Um, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> she, she agrees. Um, <laughs> uh, I've been looking for a job like crazy, um, but it, it's been really nice. Um, I've been at Cal Poly for like two years only. Um, I wish I was here a little bit longer. Um, I wish that I found out about crew last year instead of starting this year. Um, I guess one thing I could say is for everyone here who is kind of on the fence about kind of getting more involved um, in, in your college or especially in crew, um, just doing things for God. Um, if, if you're on the fence about that, um, don't be. Just do it, okay? Um, you will never, like, you might never have the opportunity to serve with people that are um, just, you know, that shares the same passion as you here at school. And, um, you know, if you look around, you, you might never see these people again in, like, the next three or four years of your life. And so um, serve together, serve, you know, serve Jesus together. Um, I think it'll be worth it. Go on those summer projects that we have here. Um, should be really amazing. Um, I think just one thing I can say um, is uh, kind of like what they've been saying, you know, root yourself um, in Jesus. Um, it'll be worth it because when you're done with college, um, you're going to be in an environment where People are not going to be so nice to you um, that you're going to suffer for the, name of, for the name of Christ. You will. And um, right now, it's kind of like your training ground. And so you need to make sure that, you know, you, you need to root yourself in Christ. And if there's any time that you're going to waste in college doing whatever else, um, don't waste it on whatever else, but waste it on Jesus. Um, it'll be so much. It'll be worth it. And, you know, yeah, waste it on Jesus. And so... Um, <laughs> Yeah, and uh, yeah, I guess, um, you know, good luck to all of you guys. I'm really going to miss this place. Um, and yeah, thanks. Hi, I'm Jessica. I'm graduating in kinesiology and health promotion. Um, what I'm doing afterwards, it's still up in the air. Um, there was a few change in my plans where... At the moment, I think I'm going to go stick with the marketplace and reach out to those around me. Um, for a nugget, let's see. Um, I just want to say, as long as your will along is aligned with God, he will open doors for you, even if it seems like it's difficult and impossible. Um, there will be people who will discourage you, but there will be people who will be encouraging you. And ultimately... If it's in God's will, he will make a way for you. Um, I'm Jenna Skolsky, and I am a liberal studies major. And I get to intern next year with crew. And I also share... Always be on time. Promptness is key, guys. Promptness is key. Um, oh, I know. Someone said 100% set, and I really like that. So I guess if I were to... Oh, two things of advice. Okay, so one, 100% sent. That means um, I've learned that a lot this year in meaning um, surrendering, whether it would be surrendering to... Um, a year of ministry after college or surrendering to a year in a servant team or surrendering a year in a mission um, mission team, um, I would say don't put parameters on that. Um, and I think that's really important. I feel like the moment I put parameters on it, um, God was just like, really? Is that what surrender means? So if you guys are thinking about how you're going to serve next year, um, I would say, and maybe you're having hesitancies on it, I would just say surrender 100% and not in, in parameters. Um, and also, don't park over 30 minutes in 30-minute parking. <laughs> I've done that so many times. And I remember, I remember my freshman year someone sharing that advice, 
and I'm going to pass it on because it's really important. I have paid so many tickets parking illegally. Don't park there for over two days. So give it up for our seniors, our graduating seniors. Thanks for the gem of wisdom you guys have shared. You guys can sit down. And um, yeah, uh, we've spent many years with these people, um, just being able to see them grow and um, invest in them and at the same time them investing us. So I just kind of wanted to commission them off um, to the real world because this is the fake world. <laughs> so here we are, um, you know, standing at the end of the year. Um, some of us with a promise like me of the infamous six to seven years here at Cal Poly uh, to look forward to. Um, while others, as Hayden would say, committed the act of beast mode and are graduating um, next week. Um, and we really want to congratulate and celebrate our graduating seniors who have just shared such valuable um, gems of wisdom. They have acquired and polished throughout um, the years. And I'm seriously encouraged and just touched um, by these mighty few um, who have touched not just my life, but many of yours. Um, and I want to talk, um, as, uh, as others have already shared, about the concept of 100% sent. Um, after graduation, there are so many doors that we could walk through. Um, so uh, Some doors would be wide open for just us to just wander in through, um, while others you may spend some time just knocking on the door for a really long time. Some doors will require patience um, and endurance, while others will just shoo you away. Um, but the term 100% sent uh, means that wherever you go, um, that you have, co you have been commissioned by Christ to go, to be the salt and the light of the world, to share the love of Christ, whether it be in your local areas, um, in the business places, in your future studies, or to the ends of the earth. And that just because your season here at Cal Poly is ending does not mean that your life as an ambassador of Christ also ends. And um, as Katie shared in 2 Timothy 4, 1 to 5, thanks Katie for stealing my verse. Um, as Paul writes his letter to his beloved disciple Timothy, uh, Paul urges Timothy to also be 100% sent. And these are his words, um, 2 Timothy 4, 1 through 5. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead? And in view of his appearance and in his kingdom, I give you this charge. Preach the word. Be prepared in season and out of season. Correct, rebuke, and encourage. With great patience and careful ins instructions. For the time will come when people will not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, instead uh, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myths. But you keep your head in all situations, endure hardships. Uh, do the work of an evangelist. Discharge all the duties of your ministry. And I just love how Paul urges Timothy to be prepared in season and out of season. Um, there will be times when you'll feel like, yeah, this is the greatest thing ever, and it's going to be so easy to live for Christ. And there will be times when... Um, you can't, you can't even see past the next day. Um, and it's going to be really hard to serve Christ. Um, but be prepared um, to preach the word, to correct, to rebuke, to encourage. Um, that's something that we're called to do constantly. And to do this with great patience and careful instructions. Um, and there will be times when life will hit you hard. But press on. Um, press on and focus on the end goal. That is Jesus Christ. For he has already defeated the grave and death has no sting. Um, and through him, we are victorious, and t um, so do not fear and just go. Um, do the work of an evangelist and fulfill the ministry that God has set before you. So I just wanted to take this special time um, for those uh, sitting in the crowd. I want you to hear me out and do this in a second uh, after I finish. But these mighty men and, and women have impacted the lives of so many of us. Um, and if you've ever been impacted by any of these people, 
um, that stood here earlier. Um, in a second, I would like you to stand up and give, give these guys a huge round of applause. I and mean, we would really would just want to uh, celebrate, encourage, and love on them. Um, so yeah, and go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just love, I just love you guys so much. <laughs> I'm not looking at you because I'm going to tear up. Um, but yeah, I mean, definitely talk to them after. Um, they are such precious people. Um, they poured into the lives of so many people here um, that will last generations upon generations. And I just remembered my first my well, when I transferred here, my first graduating commissioning or whatever that I saw, just seeing them go and live out what 100% cent means to them is just so encouraging, and they're still impacting the lives um, here today. So definitely talk to them um, because they have they are such awesome people that God is really shaping. I'm still shaping now. Um, so I pray today. Uh, as we look upon just the faces of the people that are graduating, um, that we remember to walk alongside a very faithful and loving God like they did, who has amazing plans for us, plans to prosper, not to harm us, plans to give us hope and a future. So I just want to pray over our graduating seniors, um, and then I'll have Nathan come up. Heavenly Father God, um, thank you, Lord, so much for these people that you've placed in our hearts. Uh, thank you, Lord, for um, the way you've molded them and shaped them throughout the years um, to be able to reflect um, who you are um, so that we may be able to see just a bigger picture um, of your kingdom, Father. I thank you, Lord, for all the little um, conversations we've had with them, all the late nights, um, all the laughter, all the tears, all the... Um, uh, study sessions that we've had with them, just everything, every single second that we've spent with them. Thank you, Lord. I mean, we want to give them up to you before, uh, as they uh, go out there um, and really live um, this life of um, an ambassador for you, Father. Um, so I just thank you, Lord, for uh, what you're going to do in their lives. Thank you, Lord, for just leading them and um, guiding them throughout their lives. And I pray that um, they might find joy and peace um, and fullness in you. So I just lift up to you our graduating seniors. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Um, I know that we've spent a lot of time recognizing our student leaders. I just wanted to really quickly recognize our staff. Um, if our four staff guys, and in spirit, Amanda, could just stand up and we can just give our staff a round of applause for all the work that they've done this year. Sean, Sean's in the back. Um, I'm, I just also wanted to acknowledge something else. Um, Jim, this year marks um, the 20th year that Jim has been faithfully serving at Cal Poly. Um, I just, I look at Jim and I look at his wife, Christy, and I just see a model of being submissive to the Lord and where the Lord has called you to continuously work and continuously work faithfully um, through times where we see like a lot of growth and times where we feel like we're in a drought, we're lacking staff, we're lacking enthusiastic students, um, ministry is difficult and yet you have been here because the Lord has called you to remain here and to serve. I know that you have turned down other opportunities to move on in ministry, ones that would maybe bring you more prestigious um, accolades or recognition to be here with these students. And I just thank you so much for your heart and for your wife's heart um, to continuously minister to our students. Um, so if you guys could just join me in thanking Jim and his wife, Christy, for serving so long on this campus. <laughs> Wow.
All right, guys. Um, so I'm playing a, a quick song uh, for the seniors um, as they are going to get sent out. Um, and conveniently, this song is called Send Me Out. So here we go. Lord of my salvation, Savior of my soul, send me out to make you known. Jesus, King of every nation, this world's only hope, send me out to the world to make you known. Send me out to the world. I want to be your hands and feet. I want to be your voice every time I speak. I want to run to the ones in need in the name of Jesus. I want to give my life away all for your kingdom's sake. Shine a light in the darkest place in the name of Jesus. Carry to the brokenhearted mercy you have shown. Send me out to the world to make you known. And to the ones in need of rescue, lead me, I will go. Send me out to the world to make you known. Send me out to the world. I want to be your I want to be your voice every time I speak. I want to run to the ones in need in the name of Jesus. I want to give my life away all for your kingdom's sake. Shine a light in the darkest place in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hear my I will go, send me out to make you known. There is hope for every soul. Send me out, send me out. Here am I, I will go, send me out to make you known. There is hope for every soul. So send me out. I want to be your hands and feet. I want to be your voice every time I speak. I want to run to the ones in need in the name of Jesus. I want to give my life away all for your kingdom's sake. Shine a light in the darkest place in the name of Jesus. Pray with me. Lord, thank you so much just for our graduating seniors. We thank you so much just for what they have done, um, both in my life and in all the people here. Lord, you are so amazing. We pray that they will cling to you as they go out into the world and as they go on their different journeys, God, that they will find their rest in you and their peace in you and that they can be 100% sent. Lord, you are so amazing, and we give you the praise and the glory and the honor that you deserve. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. Thank you, Nathan. Um, so just really quickly, um, we've ended early a little bit on purpose to give you guys an opportunity just to um, interact and hang out with each other um, as our last meeting. Um, and I want to encourage you guys to especially seek out um, seniors that have impacted you and just thank them personally um, and just encourage them as they go. Um, as a quick announcement, if you guys went to spring break, we need you guys to sign a piece of paper um, for ASI um, in the back, if you could do that before you leave. And then we are also eating at the flagpoles after. We'll make our way over there. So if you didn't bring lunch, just buy on campus and meet us over at the flagpoles. 
And then don't forget about Project Pomona, an amazing opportunity to serve um, and to be sent towards new students on this campus this summer. If you have questions, please um, ask Shelby um, after the meeting. And if you are a servant team leader or a missional leader and you didn't get your bag, um, come meet me up here at the stage and we'll get you your gift. Thank you guys so much for coming out. So today, I wrote a song for you, cause a day can get so long. And I know, it's hard to make it through, and you say, there's something wrong. 